Virgo, welcome back to Angelic Ascension's Tarot for your second week of July love reading. I've already shuffled and cut the cards as, no, as I usually do. And at the bottom of the deck, there is some truthful, there's a truthful, some tr can't speak, there's some truthful information that is coming in or there's going to be a victorious start that you're going to make. Uh, getting right into the reading, the star card. So we could have an Aquarius involved in the situation, Virgo, or you're not feeling like you, you lost faith in something. Maybe about a judgment call that you made in the past, and it's caused you to um, come out of, I don't know, you're, you're starting to get out of your feelings of paranoia and feeling like you've always got to guard yourself. But let's get some clarity on this. What is this star card in reverse about? The hanged man. So it looks like you're taking some time. You might be considering. Mm, I'm feeling like this might have someone to do with your past. Maybe you've lost faith. That's what I feel. But we'll move on. We'll, we'll continue to go. We'll get clarity on it. Okay, so the judgment card. What is this judgment card about? But you're definitely taking some time out. You might be leaving somebody hanging from the past who might be at a distance from you. Judgment. Judgment card in reverse. So someone made a judgment call perhaps about a family situation that didn't work out or it may have ended. And the seven of swords in reverse. I want to remind you that all messages may not resonate for everyone. This, these messages might be meant for just uh, a select few, um, but but stay tuned. Um, it, it'll start to make sense possibly for some of you. The death card, Scorpio. You could be dealing with a Scorpio, but there was a definite end. We got a 10. So there was an ending, followed by the death card in the past. And this ending has felt like there was an ending, but someone is coming out of feeling like they've got to stand their ground, possibly because it came to an end, and somebody is really in their mind, and they feel like they've lost faith in something, lost faith in maybe relationships or love, but someone's really in their head. Moving on to your present energy, this is the King of Wands. The King of Wands, he's a go-getter. He's... Um, he plans things out. He's he's um, he's a very fiery type of personality. Uh, we've got wands here, which indicates we've got three wands cards in a row. So this there there's definitely probably a fire sign in the situation for some of you. But let's clarify this King of Wands. What's this King of and the King of Wands is exciting about forging ahead, but. There might be some impatience that's involved in the situation. Someone's feeling impatient. But someone's ready to forge ahead. So, King of Wands, someone's feeling indecisive. Someone's ignoring making a decision. Which is why they're a hanged man in reverse. Someone is definitely ready to forge ahead, though. Someone's really in their head. Someone's not wanting to fight anymore with someone, maybe from their past. Someone wants some stability financially and emotionally. And the lover's card. So there could be a Gemini for some of you or um, got pentacles here. So there could be, this could be you, Virgo. I feel like this might be your energy. And the lover's card. So um, if it's not a Gemini, and someone feels like they've got a soulmate on the horizon. Or someone may have felt like they met their soulmate. But someone lost faith about something in the past, probably about this relationship that ended in the, the recent past. There's going to be delays in communication. And there's going to be a start that's not able to get off the ground. This start that the King of Wands wanted to venture out on, possibly to find their, their soulmate, that they felt like they were 
grounded with and they felt like they were financially stable with. They may have been fighting with this person in the past, but someone's ready to forge ahead, but they're not sure if, um, they haven't made a decision on it yet. Someone's still thinking about it. But yeah, someone is feeling impatient. But at the same time, someone's still in their head about it. But yeah, there's some delays in the present. Some delays in communication and some delays in this, this venture that wanted to get started. There's going to be delays with it getting off the ground. But you might feel like this person from your past, possibly an Aquarius, is your destiny and your soulmate. Okay, the Eight of Wands in reverse. What is this Eight of Wands about? The Empress. So perhaps someone felt like they couldn't create. They couldn't get this information out for some reason. They couldn't create what it was needed. Maybe someone didn't feel like they were ready to say it whatever it is that needed to be said, and that's why someone's really in their head about it. Yet, someone's really conflicted in their mind. Someone, while someone is taking some time out to really think about it, because they don't know which direction to go in, at the same time, the same token, someone's feeling impatient and wanting to move forward, forge ahead on this. But something's telling them, oh, I'm not sure if I'm ready to do this because I just got out of something. But I'm ready to come out of those feelings. I'm ready to put an end to feeling like I've always got to stand my ground. And that's probably why they, why someone is feeling like they're, they're, they want to reach out to someone from their past, but they don't feel like they can because they're stuck in their minds. Someone is conflicted mentally, and someone's taking some time out to really think about it. And as a result, this new start, this passionate new start that you want to make is not getting off the ground, Virgo. Okay, what's this Ace of Wands about? wanted to come out is the Eight of Swords. So someone's feeling stuck. Yeah, someone's feeling stuck. Definitely. Someone feels like they can't create. They definitely want to. Someone definitely wants to charge ahead. Someone definitely wants to charge ahead. Someone's definitely got the fire in them to do so. And someone is feeling stuck in their head, mentally imprisoned. Someone hasn't come to a decision about what they want to do, but there's definitely been a completion in the past with this past relationship. Or someone feels like this new person that's, come, that's trying to come in, the, the new person that you want to make a start with, completes you. But there's definitely been a completion to the cycle in the past. Moving on to your near future, someone is still thinking about it, thinking about what they want to do. Do I, do I stay or do I go? What decision do I make? Do I move forward or do I stay where I am? But there's an ending. There's an ending. Or someone's putting an end to feeling like they're like, Someone's feeling like they want to put an end in the near future. There's some type of an ending, I'll clarify. And someone's not feeling like they're getting their recognition. But um, let's find out what's going on. 
Let's get clarification on this seven of pentacles. Virgo, I feel like this is your energy. Pentacles represent earth sign, or it could be a Taurus. Involved. Okay, so someone is making a decision definitely about going back to someone from their past. Probably someone that lives at a distance from you, but someone is definitely stuck in their head about someone from their past. And they're not sure if they want to move forward or not. They do. Someone is definitely ready to move forward. But at the same time, they're conflicted. They're not so sure. Probably because of some heartache that they came out with, that they just came out of, from someone, from a relationship that happened in the past. So someone's still feeling heartbroken over some memories that they're having about things that happened in the past. Some heartbreak. And then there's an ending. And it ends in someone feeling broke, heartbroken. So maybe someone was trying to manifest something again. Maybe someone came around again from the past. From this past situation, not from the distant past, but from this recent relationship that someone got out of. And that could have, for some of you, that could have caused you to um, be conflicted in your mind. This is something may have been rekindled from, from this past relationship that came to an end. And it made you think, oh, should I stay or should I go? I'm not sure. But I really am stuck on this person from my past, possibly an Aquarius. Um, or I'm stuck over some heartbreak that happened in the past over this ending. So how can I start a new beginning? And that's why I'm not sure if I want to move forward, if I want to forge ahead on this, because I've still got a lot of heartache. And I still feel the the agony of being stabbed in the back. I still feel those wounds. It's what I'm feeling some of you Virgos are saying. But there's a definite completion to a cycle. Because we've got three endings here. Death card. We've got another ten. And we've got completion. Actually four. We've got the world card. So something. There's a cycle that ended. And I feel like this might have something to do with someone from the past. Someone is really stuck and in their head about some heartbreak that took place in the past and about the ending to the relationship. And they're dredging up those feelings and those feelings feel so strong that it feels like it, they're reliving those feelings. Virgo, for some of you. What is this Ten of Swords about? Maybe this past relationship, the one that someone is thinking about going back to, there was a lot of heartache, a lot of betrayal attached to it. May have, have had something to do with the three-party situation. Someone wants to make a new start with someone else, but they haven't gotten over the feelings of hurt that they uh, from the relationship that they just recently got out of. The Hierophant. So yes, someone is still feeling the effects of some pain that they were in regarding a past relationship. some pain tied to a past relationship or a past marriage. What is this six of wands about? More wands energy, possibly a fire sign. The sun. So someone's not feeling optimistic that they can get this new start that they want to make off the ground. Someone definitely wants stability. Someone feels like they want to go back to someone that they feel is their destiny and their soulmate. Someone that made them feel emotionally and financially grounded. They may have even fought with this person 
and recently there was some type of communication but there's some more communication that you want to say to this person but you feel like you can't say it okay I feel like someone is really wanting to forge ahead with someone from their past they're really stuck in their head about it they haven't made a decision because they haven't gotten over the heartache that happened in this recent past situation that they just ended so this has left someone feeling conflicted they don't know if maybe they want to go back to this um, this past situation that was going on here if they want to move forward but someone is definitely feeling like they want to move ahead someone is feeling some type of impatience about that and they want to stop fighting with whoever it is that they um, from their their past they want to go back to a time of stability and feeling to get like they were together emotionally and but there's some news that has a delay in coming in and someone feels like maybe they just don't have the words to say they're, they're scared to say it and so as, as a result this new offer that someone wants to make in your situation Virgo it can't get off the ground because someone is really stuck in their head about it someone knows that this person from their past the distant past is their destiny possibly even their soulmate or there's a completion that happened there was an ending but someone's still conflicted about the ending or conflicted about moving forward with this person that they once knew so this has caused someone to decide whether or not they want to go back to someone from their past they're undecided about it and not, they're not sure if they want to invest in it because someone is fearing that this person from their distant past that making this move a possible move that needs to be done could possibly end in heartache and possibly end so if someone's not sure if they want to take a risk and they don't want to end up feeling betrayed and stabbed in the back over going back again but I feel like there's an end or someone could be fearing an ending or there was a divorce that happened here or somewhere in the situation either this is a person from your remote past or in this recent breakup maybe it was the ending to a marriage and this has left someone feeling like uh, very um, pessimistic so someone's not feeling optimistic about moving forward someone wants to even to the point of sometimes feeling impatient to do so but someone hasn't gotten over this past situation someone hasn't completed completed that somehow in their mind mentally but someone definitely wants a new offer maybe for some of you it could mean this situation could mean that this recent situation that ended someone might want to reconcile but they're not sure if they should they're scared at times they want to forge ahead and do it but then there's something that still pulls them back and makes them feel stuck in their mind so this new start can't get off the ground and someone wants to say something in your situation Virgo but they don't there's going to be a delay they're taking their time there no one someone doesn't want to come out and say it what it is they want to say but regardless someone is really thinking about moving or making a move or going back to someone but not feeling so optimistic about it there's some reservation still all right Virgo this concludes your second week of July weekly love reading um, if you'd like a personal reading
please contact me at angelicascensionstarot at gmail.com. Also, you can follow me on Facebook. And um, until next time, I, I wish you the absolute best. Have a great week, Virgo.